This is an introduction to the use of PV equals NRT, pressure times volume equals moles times a constant R, and T is a temperature in Kelvin. And the answer you'll see there at the top right, so we can check ourselves at the end. All right, here's the problem, typical problem with PV and RT. If we're given a certain pressure, volume, moles, and we're asked to find temperature, we can do that because we only have, because uh, we have three of the four actual variables. R is a constant, so that's not a variable. And to figure out how to work with those, I wanted to take you over to my little uh, printed sheet that I give to my students. And here you'll be able to see gas law to use for problems with no changes in conditions. This is called the ideal gas law. And you might want to um, stop the video right now and get this information down because you, you want to have all of this. PDNRT, constant R, depends on the units of measure for variable. And here's your constant. And I normally don't ask my students to write these, con these uh, variables in or these units of measure. That, that would be my correct statement here. So without writing those in, we're going to do our calculation. The units of measure must always be for volume, liters, for pressure, atmospheres, for N, that's got to be in moles, and T has got to be in kelvins. So if we're given uh, milliliters instead of liters, we have to convert before we can run this calculation. Same way with atmospheres. If we're given uh, 25 tors, and we're not given it in atmospheres, we've got to convert tors to atmospheres. If we were given grams instead of moles, we would have to convert grams to moles. But you're going to see this all happen in our, our uh, second example, but not in the first one. And so here we have Kelvin as a unit of measure for temperature. If you're given centigrade, you've got to get it into Kelvin by adding 273. Now down here you will see how to convert from any unit of pressure to any other unit of pressure. And so use that as a guide for yourself and let's move on. Let's go ahead and run this problem and here's how it works. We have given a fine and you'll notice here that I've got a given of three atmospheres and volume of 2.60 liters and moles of 6.0, all of those are units that are acceptable for use in the PDNRT formula. And PDNRT, because it's very specific on the units of measure, when you use all of the units of measure that you see over here, then the answer that you're going to get will always be in Kelvin. So let's go ahead and run this. We first of all put in T, which is 3.00 atmospheres. I recommend you always write the unit of measure. And then we're going to have 2.60, that's liters, is going to be equal to, I'm just plugging in to the PVNRT formula, which you see right up here. Okay. The other side is going to be N, which is given as 6.00, and that's moles. The R is always equal to 0 0.0821. And your last variable is T for temperature, and we just don't know that. So we are ready to start running the calculation. So as we continue here, you're going to see what I've done. I have divided both sides by these two numbers. And that will allow us to get rid of these and get rid of these guys. And on the other side, we have a calculation to do. Now, this is the way I recommend you do your calculation. And I'm going to set this calculator up as high as I can so it's next to the numbers we're working on. We're going to have to put in 3 for the 3.00 atmospheres. We're going to multiply that by 2. Point, whoops. We're going to multiply that by 
for the 2.60 liters. Remember, the calculator doesn't care about sig figs. And now, the next one is not going to be a times. Don't do that. You're going to do divide. Divide tells the calculator the next number you're putting in is on the bottom of the fraction. And the next number I want to put in is this 6. So I'm going to put in the 6. And then the next number I'm going to put in is also on the bottom of the fraction. So I'm going to hit divide again and put in the 0 0.0821. I wrote that wrong. It should be 0 0.0821. Let's get that fixed. That's the decimal. We're going to get rid of this guy. Okay, so the decimal is really here. And now all we have to do is hit the equal sign, and we are done. And we can actually come up with the answer that we were supposed to have, 15.8. And that's how we do a relatively simple gas law problem where we are not required to do a, um, where we're not required to change units of measure before we get started. Now, uh, there will be a second video here that will give you the ability to uh, see what we do when we have totally different units of measure that aren't not allowed and have to be changed.